people who see this recording. It's like... Hey, what are you doing? I just think they walk out of the museum. Museum? Brona said I mentioned that before. Did she send you here? Yeah, sure. Brona has sent me here. Total thing. Yeah, well, this woman's is also stunning when it comes to a lot of things like this. But let me be sure to show you why I don't, about why I don't want to be a volunteer guy. I mean, just think about the name, Bellabot History and Culture. You really think I would fit anywhere near the culture and history? Near the history and the culture? It's not that I'm not willing to help, but I'm not suitable for the role. Sorry for you make, I'm sorry for making this secret strip for you. Hey, come on, I'm sure you're, be, you're more than culture enough to be a volunteer guy. Well, the truth is, I'm sitting back kind of off just like I used to press my head down, forcing me to read when I was little. It was so suffocating. Oh, well, you really want someone like me to introduce the exhibits to visitors? Just, let's just nip the idea at the peanut butter. It won't end very well for any of us. Uh, don't worry, I, I too know nothing about Bellabot and culture. You're different. Even though you're not a local, you still seem well educated to me. So being a guy must be easy peasy for you. As for me, him and Neil were seeing me as a little rascal for as long as I can recall. If they and if they seem working as a guy, I'm afraid the reputation of the museum will be tarnished. But Brona would be so sad about this. Can you reconsider for Bronia's sake? Eh, fine, I'll do it. Just send hand me the application form. Never mind, you keep the form for me and write down what I say the beta. Uh why don't you write it yourself? My handwriting is awful. Do you have a problem with that? Okay, let's get down let's get down to business. Listen to me carefully. Wait, first question, what is your name? Seely. No last name. Sure, Seely, no last name. Don't test me, you wanna mess around and find out? Next question, what is your personal experience? God, I knew it, this is the top one. Forget it, just say I have no experience. I can't really disclose any of the jobs I've done for long while. Okay, I'll write down no comment here. I can tell you you can go teasing me like this, don't you? <laughs> last question, what are, what are your skills and expertise? Why are these questions getting tricky or when you think? Hmm, just go ahead and put down this dispute resolution, which won't sound too intimidating, I hope. <laughs> I'll just put down too scary to specify. Is it too late to back out now? <laughs> okay, I suppose it's done, can I take a look? Try to keep you a surprise. <laughs> I hope the surprise is going to be a pleasant one. Well, it's time to overall submit this thing. But I reckon it still it will still be unlikely for me to pass the background check. Okay. Man, we are just trolling her. Oh, oh god, the frame drop. Hey. Hey, Ares. Huh, this music looks so posh. It reminds me of the orphanage in Rivet now. Are you Miss Ayers? I'm here to send out a volunteer guide application form. Should I give it to you? Yes, please give it to me. I'll pass your resume off to Miss Taylor later. This seems serious. Let's take a break here, one of us. Eh, Sealy? What are you doing here? Um, did Marvel's bring you here? Uh, she came on her own volition. I see. I'm surprised you have finally made up your mind. Thank you, Sealy. Uh, I guess it's my turn to ask the questions now. My application didn't pass the review, right? Can I just go now? No, Pele was impressed by your ability. She wanted me to, so she wanted me to have an interview with you. No way for you to escape now, Seelie. Darn it. <laughs> anyway, let's head to the rest area. Seelie and Wadros, the interview will be held there. Fine, I'll play along, but it's only because I'm not busy today. Thank you, Sealy. As for Wadros, the assistant assessor, you may get on with your things first. We'll start the interview with you. Okay. Like, this doesn't make things less weird. So just try to play it. Oh, are you ready? And let's begin. Please get ready, Sealy. The interview will begin now. For some reason, I feel a bit nervous. Are you two t communicating telepathically? No way, tele telepathy isn't it ain't real. Wait, I mean, you are not actually trying to read my mind, are you, Lady Bronya? This, this is my first time speaking to you in this position, though. 
and I don't know what to say. Um, should we end this interview here? It's good for both of us. Let's not take up any more time. More of Rose's this time. No way, we certainly have to go through the entire process no matter what. Rose, how do you think I should ask questions in the interview? Uh, you gotta listen up, people. Just talk to, like, talk to each other like friends would. I see. I'll ask some random questions based on the resume. This also has a great chance for me to get to see Sealy better. Don't we all know each other well enough already? Yes, I'm pretty sure you two know each other very well. First of all, is the, the name is Sealy, no last name. It is no last name and actually every name in Bellabog. <laughs> Blaros. Uh, so, seems like you don't know Bellabog well enough. Um, I really haven't heard of such a weird surname. Uh, I mean, I meant to say uncommon surname. Sorry, Sealy, I hope you aren't offended. This is clearly a prank pulled by Wild Rose. What are you apologizing for? <laughs> I see. Speaking of your name, there's something I've been curious about. In fact, Sealy itself is not a common name in Bellabot. Does it have a special meaning? Well, all I gave me the name. Then I met Soul in ancient Bellabot. I'm not sure what you tried to convey through that. But to, the, to all those thugs and gangsters in the underworld, it's like a specter always haunting them. Wow, I'm surprised by the found meaning. How fascinating. Now, the next question. No comment on your personal experience. I do get what I mean. I do you get what it means, but why? What else did anything you want to say? <laughs> Sealy said I could make it more mysterious. They're just teasing at this point. Don't pin the blame on me. <laughs> okay, I got it. I'm not gonna probe. Let's see what's next. With skills and expertise, you wrote too scary to specify, and that means. Well, Rose, do you have a wise answer to the Supreme Guardian's question? Silly forced me to write that. Nobody forced me to do anything. I'm surprised to see. I'm surprised at how close you two are. That I can more or less, less get what Silly is trying to say. Don't worry, I don't think your skills and expertise will be put to use here. Even if there were such a dispute, I can handle it. No, if there was such a dispute, you should need to sum summon the settlement guards. Don't forget that protecting me is not one of your duties. You can't just gratuitously, gratuitously get yourself hurt. Okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> we just troll her in this entire process. Well, let's call it a day. I'll announce the results now. I'm sure I failed. You passed. Welcome to Bellevue History and Culture Museum, Stephen. I am not sure how to respond to this. You made Bernie happy. Hmm, you're not wrong about that. Anyway, everything's fine as long as she's happy. Eh? Are you two having a secret talk? Eh, nothing. Hey, Bruno, what should I do next? Hurry up and sign some jobs for me. Call me later. We, we have to go do some formalities. Thank you, Waro, thank you for your help in the interview. Thanks to you, I had a chance to get done silly better. Please excuse me now, as I have to take silly to complete the procedure. Remember, remember to visit the museum often and check out silly. Do you really have this? Do you really have so little trust in me? <laughs> uh, yeah. Got Bronia and Bronia's girlfriend at the museum now. And we just trolled the fuck out of her. <laughs> okay. 